Welcome everybody, let's go ahead and break down how I made this Hollywood style evaporation effect. And you can see there's quite a bit involved here, so we're just going to take it track by track and show you what I did. Let's go ahead and lock all the tracks except track number two. I'm going to start with track number two, and we're going to mute the music. Alright, I used a couple images here from Pexels, and we're going to start with the guy walking. Let me just put it right here. And as you can see, this is just a guy walking in the woods. So what our job is, is to take the guy out of the picture so that we can place the forest scene behind him. There are a couple ways you can achieve this, but I'm going to show you a little tip first. Before you start to do that, let's figure out exactly what we're after here. So let's go back and look at the original. And looks like I started it right about before his hand showed up on the screen. So let's find somewhere close to that position. And cut. Take that first part out. Let's figure out where we want this guy to vanish at. And it's like the hands were just about to come onto the screen. And we'll just go a little beyond so we have a little extra to work with. We can take that out. Highlight this clip. Go ahead and move your playhead to the beginning. Highlight the clip. Go to AI Tools. And use Smart Cutout. You can also try to use AI Portrait. It will work, uh, but it also very much depends on the subject and the background. I find Smart Cutout to be a little easier because you can have some control over it. You have no control over Portrait, it just does it. Go ahead and click to start. Adjust your brush size for whatever subject that you got. Draw a line and it will automatically go ahead and uh, take care of it for you. And we may have to go through and touch things up here and there, but go ahead and start it. And as you can see right there, the hands did not get covered. Uh, you can go in and adjust if you like. You can press the letter H on your keyboard. And try to move it up. Zoom in, pan up. Uh, go back to the brush. Drop the size pretty small, and you can go in here and just sort of touch the hands just to get a little bit of it done. That's all I can do because the hand kind of is the same color as the ground. There you go. And don't don't hit save. Make sure you restart. I would run it again. Go ahead and hit save, and we can take a quick peek and see what we've done. And, um, and yeah, I know some of the hands are missing, but that's okay, because we're going to bury them anyway. On track one, I should say, we're going to unlock it. We're going to drag whatever footage you guys want to put into the background. And in this case, I'm going to crop the fit. And we'll take a quick peek and see what we got. Okay, so he's walking right into a tree. So we're going to relock track one, work with track two, move him over, and bring him down a little bit. And let's see what we got. And then, poof, he's gone. So that's how we're going to do it. All right, let's figure out the position we want him to vanish in. Highlight the track. Go ahead and split it. Take this portion, this, the split portion. Back to basics. Run your opacity to zero. And he's gone. And the trees stay in the background. So he walks, and then poof, he's gone. I've got uh, several effects going on here. Let's go back, look at our original. And the only change that I made on the original track was the position, the same as I did on the one we're working on. Then we'll move to the one that we just split. And this is where I added in the smoke and the particle effect. And the only thing here is opacity is zero, the same as what we already did. And over here, I just left opacity zero. Um, 
but I've already cut that part out. So, so uh, yes, I am doing it slightly different, but uh, there's many ways to make the same effect work. So anyway, let's go back over here and add some effects. And uh, this is an elements effect called large scale 12. I'll show it to you. Large scale 12 is under stickers. The reason that we're using stickers here instead of some other effects is stickers can be moved around uh, versus an overlay. Overlay, you can't really move it around because you're going to get a square box around wherever you move it to. I used this one. Large scale 12. It's under particles. If you search for particles, you'll find it. It's in the standard Filmora film stocks library. Um, and on the screen, that's what it looks like. But I obviously have scaled mine down and changed it around some. So let's go ahead and take it down. Put it right at the... Oops, it's trap locked. Unlock that trap. And drop it right on top. Lock all the other tracks this way. When you click on it, you can just grab by itself, scale it down, and put it back up where the guy is. It looks like we need to move it over just a little more and shrink it down a little more. And then we've got the realistic smoke effect that is element number 10. It is also a sticker. You can just go ahead and search for that and unlock that track. And I'm going to press Control C on my keyboard. I'm going to click over here and go V. Bring that back over a little bit. And I'll have to adjust slightly, but uh, got to see the poof is a little too late. So what we'll do is go up here. This is frame by frame. So there's the frame. I want to see a little more smoke. Cut that out. Okay, there it is. Let's take a quick look. Poof, it's gone. Anyway, you can adjust that to your liking. And then I use this evaporate transition. Evaporate, evaporate, evaporate. And I just evaporated into a black screen. If you're wondering where that black is, they've moved it. It's now under stock media, film stock, solid colors. Scroll to the bottom. There's black. And you can just pop these black ones in. Of course, you gotta have the tracks unlocked for that. And you can just pop in some, if you want to fade this stuff off into black, like that. And you can just do a search for evaporate. Evaporate 2. You can adjust it a little bit. Uh, on the large scale 12, I did a speed up on that. For that, you just highlight the element, go to speed control, uniform speed. Um, I took mine to two because I wanted that particle effect to be a little faster. Okay. And then you just fade everything into black, find some appropriate music. And when you're done, you get something that looks like a big Hollywood movie without the Hollywood cost. Anyway, that's it. Hope you enjoy. Make sure you give this a try. Play around with it. Put a link to whatever video you made using this evaporation particle effect thing. And because uh, we'd all like to see it. And we'll see you soon on the next video.